Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. It is a nice sunny day, but the winds are pretty strong. They were yesterday as well. So we're gonna go ahead and move on and we're gonna probably stay one or two nights in Laughlin. We're gonna be meeting some friends, but right now I've gotta connect the trailer back to the RV. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready? Everything locked up? Everything's locked up, ready Thank to roll. You. Get in your normal position. Always make sure she's inside if I have to move the rig. Because I've heard and known of two people who have actually ran over their dogs when they weren't paying attention. That's why she always goes inside whenever I decide to move the vehicle. First shot. First shot? Nice. I do need to get another backup camera to go low so I can see this because I used to be able to hook it up by myself. But now it's a little complicated since I put in the AC. And this video from Colorado is coming up soon too. But yeah, that blocks the backup camera. It's unfortunate. I could just probably move locations of that, but I think just getting a wireless one to go here will be easier. What's going on? Good, Good morning. <laughs> I gotta pull up just a little bit so we can lock the ball. That should be good. Right, Momo? Are you sleeping already? You are ready for the road trip. We're not going far. Just to Laughlin. All right, everything is connected. And is the plug plugged in? I don't see the plug. Oh yeah, the plug's not plugged. Safety chains are on, brake cable, and also it's plugged in. We're ready to go. You wanna just pull? Pull out of here, get yourself lined up, and we can say bye to everybody. Yep, so you got the walkie-talkie, and we're ready to go. Walkies are in and ready to roll. All right, let's say bye to everybody, and then I guess we can go. All right, bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye. We'll see you down the road. All right. Give me some hugs. Safe travels. Love you. Come on. <laughs> well, I don't, you know... You, you're so fragile, I'm scared to squeeze you too hard. <laughs> Bye. I know, I know you're in pain, so I won't squeeze you too hard. <laughs> Bye. Love you. Okay, we'll see you down the road. All right. Bye, Kate. I don't know if you're awake, but bye. We'll see you down the road. Oh, Jimmy. Hey, Olive. Bye, Olive. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, sweetie. We'll see you down the road. Okay, okay safe be travels. Safe. Yeah. They probably rotated from one spot to another. Could be. So when we first got here, there were signs saying pack it in, pack it down. But they actually do have a dumpster here. And they just moved it. It's right there. They moved it to this side and emptied it. So that's nice to have, especially when it's busy. Wow, another dumpster truck is just pulling in. I wonder if they're expecting more people and stuff. Bye, duckies. They're pretty active this morning. <laughs> I'm hoping I can make this turn. I just backed up a little bit. Yeah, I should be able to do this. Put my seatbelt on. Get ready for this 15 mile road trip. <laughs> it's not a long one. Bye! I think we got it. There's Marsha. I don't know. I doubt it. I don't know. We're, we're going to decide where we're going after this. 
We're going back to Laughlin for a couple days. Love you. I love you too. Give me a call. Keep I in will. touch. I, will. I know you're headed north, so. Yeah, well, I'm probably going to go over to Pine for like four days because it's going to be like 75. Pine? Yeah. Oh, that's so you're going south. Well, it's kind of like over west or right. east. Right. True that. So, yeah. It's okay. Just, it's a little bit south. Well, I east. haven't decided where we're going yet, and neither has he, so I'll give you a call and let you know what we okay. end up deciding. All right. Yeah, because at least I love you. I love you too. Okay. Okay, bye, you guys. Bye. -bye. <laughs> I know. Oh, she said bye. Bye, John. All right, John is gonna lead us down the road. Like I said, it's only 15 miles, so not too bad. I'm excited to get going. I gotta cut on the thing. Okay, you got your walkie on. Milwaukee Craft. Roger. It was definitely fun here. I had a great time, especially on the paddle boards and everything. And I'll definitely be back here to visit again. It's a wonderful place to visit. It is going to be getting hot here soon, so. A little higher elevation would be nice. I'm glad we're getting in front of this uh, garbage cart. Yeah, that would be a slow drive. Mumu's ready. Lucky's ready. <laughs> there are a lot of empty spaces. It's really cleared out here. But the weekend is coming and that's usually when it gets busy here. I'm sure a lot of the locals and the weekenders come in then. See you later, Telephone Cove. It's been fun. Onward found, y'all. Finally back on a normal road. <laughs> the longest part of that journey is coming down that windy road. There's the casinos of Laughlin in the distance. Oh, the wind feels strong today, even driving on this road. Colorado River, Heritage Greenway, Park and Trails. Hmm. I'll have to look that up. Welcome back to Laughlin. It's very staticky here. So we are not staying at the Pioneer this time. I think we're gonna stay at the Golden Nugget. It's on the, the parking for it's on the opposite side of the road. It's right here at this light. We're supposed to be meeting Bruce. Oh, I don't see his, oh yeah, I see it. Okay, oops. There's Bruce's bus up there. Roger. I turned it down because there's a lot of interference, but he said to get in place first and then I'm just gonna pull over here. We're all squared away in the parking lot. We went and signed in at the casino and we're gonna go back to that sushi restaurant to get some lunch because it was so good the last time we were here. Not sure what I'm gonna get this time. We ended up getting the bento box. This is the teriyaki chicken. We're still waiting for our sushi to come out. This looks really good. The fried veggies. You got the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, but we ended up getting our sushi that comes with our bento box, but we did order another roll. So here's the bullhead roll that we got. I think it has shrimp and lobster, eel, eel sauce. John said it was good. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, let's see. Well, it's gonna fall. <laughs> Damn, meow. <laughs> What is it? Look, look at it, it's just completely falling apart. You know what? Okay, let's try it. Mm. It's pretty good. Oh, sorry, let's eat the chocolate. Oh, no, it's okay. Yep, you're good. So, we did have leftovers. I didn't particularly care for this one, it's baked. Um, and it's very fishy tasting. I don't like But things. we're taking it with us because she doesn't like it. I know. Hey, we spent the money on it. We're taking it with us. Maybe the I'll, dog force like I'll, force my, I'll force myself to eat it. <laughs> oh, it's so bright. Okay, we're headed back to the rigs. That was a good lunch, but like I said, that's, it was very fishy. The roll was. I didn't particularly care for it. Yeah, I was like, I could sit in there and just soak up the AC and look up trucks all day. <laughs> you can go into the gold nugget and belly up. Belly he does not like gambling. Belly up at the bar. Ow, I hit the wall. Number one, please. <laughs> What's that, one of those Chinese specials? Number one. No, I just said it in an Asian voice. I meant floor one. Number one, please. So, Linda and Tony made it, and also Jack. Hey, y'all. They weren't supposed to be here till tomorrow, but I guess they just did a day trip to Oatman and then came here. Who is that? Who is that? Somebody get a new pups. Give me, give me. Me, what you doing? Who's this? Me. Oh my goodness, you're too cute. You're too cute. You're too cute, dude. Looks like Mumu in the face. <laughs> Just a tan version and a boy. <laughs> okay, I'll let you back up. Wait, hold on. Who is that, Mumu? Who is it? Aw, uh, y'all gonna kiss. <laughs> oh, you replaced me. Mumu, don't play that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh my God, it's like Dog Central. You got a new dog too? I did. <laughs> Lord. Look at you, look at you, look at you. Yes, aren't your boys just so cute? So cute, so cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good to be back. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, uh, uh, we're having... We're, we're having getting out. some technical difficulties. Oh, God. Get it together. <laughs> she thinks you're playing. This way. Which way? This. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Good girl. All right, Benny, settle down. You weren't me out. Moo-moos. <laughs> Uh, 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 a no. No. Um. Um. No. I'm a crazy one. Hey, Be a good girl. Crazy as a New York. She gonna smack you with her tail. <laughs> uh oh, they're meeting the old man. Lucky. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, back it up. Hello, buddy. Hello, Lucky. Lucky's like, I don't really care. Yeah, you don't have much of them. They're all up in his ears. <laughs> <laughs> Clean my ears. Hey, hey. No. Yes, yes. No, Absolutely not. No. It's okay, Mumu. You've no. been replaced. No. <laughs> <laughs> never gets replaced. She's like, psh. <laughs> when I was in Yuma, I made a special order. I wanted to replace my blinds or the Roman shades that are in there because they just don't work very well and they can be annoying at times. So this is what I replaced them with. The Level Or shades. 
and I got them to perfect size. I'm really excited about these. These are also the automatic ones. Oof. So they work with the remote control. They'll go up and down automatically. I don't have to pull any strings or anything like that. That'll be wonderful. Thanks, Jeff, for picking those up. So yeah, I'm really excited to get these installed. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it here or next location because I don't think we're going to be here that long. It's actually supposed to get into the 90s tomorrow and then high 90s Saturday and Sunday. So definitely don't want to be here. We're probably going to go to higher elevation. Okay, we're getting ready to unpack one of these levelers and replace this one first. I'm going to be glad to have these gone. Such a pain in the butt. It's this one right here. It's the, that's the bedroom one. Oh, okay. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and unbox one of these levelers and replace this one first. I'm going to be so glad to get rid of this because these are a pain in the butt with the string. They're fastened up here and then you're pulling on it so this always comes down and it can be a bit annoying. It's just not a good concept. So these actually are going to fit onto the wall and they're automatic so we won't have to pull any string at all. There ain't no strings on me. You get to use your friend Google to open them up. What? Oh yeah. Well, you get to is use it? Your friend Google. Oh yeah, and you can yeah. use Google to to control them. And uh, fasteners. Yeah. Let's put that to the side for a minute. Okay. So we figure out exactly what we need. And Back this is basically the... it. The automatic roller shades. This is gonna be amazing. Go ahead, slide it off the end. Okay. This is the style that I chose. It is a blackout and it, I forget what they called it, but anyways, it's the gray, white, and black mixture. I think it'll look really good in here because I've got a lot of grays going on. So we just put it up there. It's perfect size. And this is the actual battery case. Good Lord, look how big that is. But I believe I was told normal use, it'll last up to a year. So that'll be great. That holds all the batteries for the automatic up and down. And it does come with a remote as well. All right, we've got the tool needed and John's going to lay the parts out. There's your holy cow batteries. Oh yeah, there's all the batteries. They even give you energizer. <laughs> so the bracket. Yeah, there's how many four brackets that hold it? Should be. You would think. Maybe more. We'll have to read the instructions. Ah, uh, who reads instructions? Mm-hmm, that's what they say. <laughs> okay, John just unboxed the remote and there is the instruction manual. So, I'll flip through this real quick and see what's what. There's a parts list and everything. So, if you're mounting on the inside, these are the brackets that you need. But, if you're mounting on an outside, not in a frame, use these brackets along with these brackets. First things first, we've got to go ahead and remove this. This comes out of the way. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to remove this shade. One screw down. I think there's like two more to go. Last one. Awesome. And down it comes. Yay! We just tint them and then be done with it. Yeah, forever. just leave it like that. <laughs> so after reading the instructions and looking over the brackets, we're more like the inside mount because there's cabinets above here. And for the outside mount, you have to be able to get to the top of the bracket to screw in that. So all we have to do is use these mounts and they'll go flush since there's a cabinet above and we'll screw these into the cabinet and then there's one screw right there and then it just clips in. I just didn't take in consideration the cabinet. I just figured that it wasn't set into a window frame but this is still framed out here because the cabinet's here. John's gonna install the first mount 
We're going to do the exterior mounts first and then the interior mounts. So there's going to be two on the ends and then two in the middle. Nice. Do we have a hand screwdriver? Yeah, I do. So that way you can do the ends and yeah. not... Yeah, I'll go get it. Thank you. Uh, when I measured, I just came up this window and came straight up, but then I'm going to come in a little bit so it's not right at the end of the, the blind, so it kind of hides itself. Sounds good. We have one mount, three more to go. The reason why we're not pre-drilling this is because the cabinet is hollow, so we want as much grip as possible. And then there's a screw that's going to go in at the top of it, into this wall. That'll give most of the support, but we still have to screw these. We're going to pre-drill the one that's going in this way, and uh, the ones that go up, we're not pre-drilling. So not to strip out the screw, He's getting it most of the way in and then hand tightening it with just a regular screwdriver. So I just wanted to show you up close what I'm talking about. These that we didn't have to pre-drill because it's a light cabinet. Uh, this that's going into the wall, into wood, we're going to pre-drill. And then that will be the main support right there. While he's finishing on the mounts, I'm going to go ahead and fill the battery case up. It actually came with energizers, which is unusual. Normally, they're just uh, cheap Chinese batteries, but no, yeah, this came with energizers. That's where the motor of the shade plugs into. And you just pinch, and the top comes off, and you fill it in. I think it's negative up on this side. And positive on this side. Wow, that's a lot of batteries. That's 12 total. So just press that back in. It's good to go. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and install the last mount. We just did the top screws and then we're gonna work on the screws I had talked about earlier that go into the wall. Those have to be pre-drilled, so we're just gonna wait to do all at the end. Look at y'all just sitting in the background all quiet. Are you sleeping, Moo Moo? <laughs> I caught you. You were sleeping. Sleeping on the job. Uh-huh. Thought you were supposed to be... She's supposed to be the supervising. So, John brought up a good point um, about the screws sticking in, but they won't because if you see right here, this is the edge of it, and... As you can see, it doesn't go to the top of that. This is the space where they run wires and stuff, so the screws are in there, they'll be safe. He's gonna go ahead and pre-drill the bottom hole. There's a groove right here, and the mount kinda clips into the groove, and then you've got to turn it like this so it can clip in, and then we'll push it in and then the spring action of this should keep it held up. It's kind of hard to hold this and hold the camera at the same time, so as soon as we get it installed, we'll get back with you. So, like I said, you angle it up, and then you push the bottom in, and then it clips in. It's in pretty secure. That looks awesome. Now we gotta plug the battery bank in. I'm just probably gonna double side tape it here for now, and we'll get it Velcro strips for it later. And then we'll test it out. Okay, we've got the double side tape on there. We're just going to mount it on the wall now. Put the cable in first the top, so you can yeah. see where the length is. We're flipping the tape around because I'd prefer the white to show so it looks cleaner than the clear where you can see the batteries. It's plugging it in at first so that way we know where it needs to be set. Do and it yeah, so that way it we don't see the wire as much. I think we're just going to place it there. Looks good. So we had to do a little programming before it would work. There's a manual button on the far side over here. And then we had to pair it with the remote. So now he's just going to select the zone. 
And just press the one. Uh huh. And then down. There you go. Isn't that awesome? When you're ready for it to stop, you just press the stop button. There it goes. And Easy stops. peasy. Then up. Do you have to stop it or is it stop? Yeah, nothing? you can stop. You stop it. Or it'll stop once it gets all the way to the top, stop but uh, you can just press stop. So that's going to be amazing. No more pulling at strings. It's just automatic. Yeah, you can go ahead and put it down so we have some privacy. It is nighttime outside. And let it go a little bit behind the couch, I guess. So it really blocks it out. Oops. Nope. So it does stop when it gets to that length. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's okay, there it goes. This fur thing gets in the way sometimes, so as long as that's... Okay, let's try it one more time and just to double check. We only have two more to install. We've got the one on this far side over here, and then the one in the bedroom. It only took four hours to install this one. It did not. <laughs> Okay, so it does stop by itself. Okay, let's see. Oh, Moo, were you burping over there? <laughs> that was Moo. Oh. Alright, one more time. Yeah, make sure this is tucked so we don't have to worry about it. Hitting that. Okay. So yeah, you can, as long as it misses the blanket, yeah. you can just let it go. All it... the way down. There it yep. goes. Then it'll stop when it gets to the bottom. The length that it cut. Yep. yep. Awesome. That's amazing. Good job. Teamwork makes the dream work. It does. We're going to go on the outside. We want to just see what it looks like. If it actually blocks the light and gives privacy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't even see in. Cool. Laughlin is all lit up. Okay, we've got the next one installed. And it is programmed and working. Technology is amazing. So the only thing in the way is the monitor for the charge controller. So we're going to remove that because it's no longer needed since I installed the new one. Just taking the screws out now. We're just going to put it all in the Ziploc because I'm going to use that for Panda.